sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> Today, I am at Epcot for Flower and Garden Festival Part 2. Actually, I was here for opening day, and I decided I want to come back out and eat and drink some things that I didn't do the first time, which will make it a little bit more fun. Anywho, let's go do this. One thing I didn't do last time in the Flower and Garden opening day video was actually explore all the different uh, alcoholic beverages that they had. So that's what I'm going to try to focus on today. And I'm going to try the 81 Bay Brewing Apricot with Maple Syrup Beer. That sounds pretty interesting. And here it is. I'm excited because I don't like apricot, but I'm going to see if I like this. Regardless, I will drink it. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh wow, that's delicious. I actually really like it. I was a little shocked. It doesn't taste like anything like apricot. I could taste the maple more than the apricot. So it's kind of like a maple apricot beer. Huh. Honestly, very shocked on how delicious this is. It was five dollars and it's, I mean, a regular like festival size beer. But it's interesting to try something different. I mean, that is different. Apricot and maple. And one thing I also wanted to check out were these nifty shirts. My friend Wayne from the UK actually messaged me and wants one of these shirts. So I said, I'll check and see if they have any in his size. And he's seen Josh wearing it. I'm a little jealous because I really like them too. The fabric's amazing. We're going to come back and see if Wayne actually wants the shirt. But I'm looking for my friend. And uh, I'm hopefully she's at the Citrus Blossom getting something good to eat. There she is! I'm here and I got, I told you I was going to get a flowery drinks today. That's the one? That is one of the ones. Oh. oh that's good. It's a wine slushy. I like it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Instead of eating on a trash can, we found this beautiful box. This is like an epic <laughs> box here. <laughs> now this is like ultimate for Epcot festivals. Look at it. How beautiful it is. We have fried fried green tomatoes. Ooh. And then the tuna tataki bowl. The tuna tataki. Yes. And a wine slushy. Yeah. I'm going to get the wine slushy. Yeah. Yes. So this is my first time trying fried green tomatoes. What do you think they look? They look pretty delicious. They do look delicious. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't know if I'll like them. You I'm going to find out. All right. Fried green tomatoes. One bite. Everyone knows the rules. <laughs> oh, they're delicious. Yeah. Yeah. And now. Cheers. The wine slushy? Yes. What is this? Orange wine? Yes. I'm excited. Yes. So I have to say, this is absolutely delicious. I really, really like it. It's like an orange creamsicle. And I'm not a big wine drinker. It doesn't taste anything like wine. So if you don't like wine, don't be afraid to try to get this drink because it literally just tastes like deliciousness. Like it, like it doesn't even taste alcoholic, actually. No, it doesn't taste like No alcohol almost, but I don't know. I'm sure there's something in it. I had to take a break from my snack time snacks to run back and get that shirt from my buddy because they actually were selling out very quickly. So we really knocked out two stands there very quickly and now we're going to make our way a little bit more. Obviously I'm with Jackie super enthused and we're probably going to meet up with some other friends. Who knows? I'm just excited to be here. I am. <laughs> and we're walking past what kind of show is this? Well, like a festival market, and they actually have testers for some handy tizers. Handy tizer, I like that. It's 100% natural. This one's orange lemon. Yeah. I got lavender. Oh. Let's try ourselves. Yes. 
Um, no, I don't think it's a spray. I think it's sanitizer. No, this says spritz to cool and refresh. What? I'm gonna cool it. Oh, mine's to clean my skin. I want that. Oh, Ooh, that smells nice. <laughs> One thing that's really important is that you get a good mixture of drinks, like a good variety. So I first started with the maple beer and then I got the wine martini. And now we are actually in the French pavilion and I'm thinking about getting the rose frozen slushy. Look at that. Gray goose, orange, and then also white and red cranberry juice. 11.75. So I bet you it's probably very delicious. Here it is. The rose slushy made with gray goose. Wow, this is like really fancy. <laughs> so I have to say, comparing this to the wine slushy, this one is a lot colder. And the other one was more frothy. This one I like a lot though. I just don't know which one I would prefer. You know, I don't like, eat, I mean, I do like them, but it's not like the type of drink that I would normally get. This is still very delicious, so I have to say, wow. Also, I want to point out, Remy is actually here. And now I haven't showed this before because this is my first time seeing it. But look at that. And they actually give you a whole bunch of different recipes down here. I like that. That's really awesome. Also, I want to suggest that if you do stop and get this rose slushy, it is not a walking and drinking drink, actually. Look at that. Very, very dangerous. Now we're gonna move along on our journey, and this is basically turning into basically drinks at Flower and Garden. And we're gonna stop at the Florida Fresh Stand because they have a watermelon and cucumber slushy made with gin, which sounds pretty amazing. Right here it is, the watermelon cucumber slushy with gin. I'm very excited. I like watermelon, and I kind of like cucumber, but I love gin. And take a look at that. Actually comes with a little watermelon. Okay. So what we're gonna have to do is probably soak the watermelon and then eat it. That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Oh wow. Dip, right? So we're gonna dip the watermelon into the slushy and kind of get like a spiked fruit. Ooh. It sounds amazing, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, we're, you're spiking it. We're oh, really I'm holding it. I'm, it. Hold it, it in and let it absorb. Yep. Taking all soak. that gin. And Ooh. then you ready? Okay, ready. Cheers. Whole thing at once or like yeah. one at a time? Okay. Obviously, just eating the watermelon dip inside the slushy was amazing, but the actual slushy itself is still delicious. It's a little bit watery because it's very hot here in Florida, but I would definitely rank this as my favorite drink so far. This beats the wine slushy at Citrus Blossom. Wow. So, just to recap a little bit, we started off, we had the apricot maple beer, and then we decided to get the wine slushy that tasted like an orange creamsicle. Then we went to the France Pavilion and we got the rose slushy, which was fantastic. And now the watermelon cucumber slushy. This is my favorite so far. Unbelievable. It's just, I don't know, something about it. Like I said, it tastes so super sweet, and then the cucumber just brings it down a little bit. Very, very good. I think that maybe in between all of the fancy drinks, maybe we should get something to eat. Maybe try the fried cauliflower, which is served with some capers, garlic parsley, and chili ranch sauce. I don't know about this, but... Yeah, so I'm nervous it's gonna be spicy. Yes, yeah. we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of, I guess, cauliflower, I but cauliflower. that looks delicious. Doesn't it? That, that yeah. looks like one of the prettiest yeah. things actually I've seen so far yeah. at the festival. That's what I was saying. The presentation is like very, very ah. nice. With the parsley. The parsley, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm a little worried about the sauce. I did get it with the least amount of sauce on it. Once again, I've never had fried cauliflower, so we're going to give it a go. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thank you. 
And please, like I said, just because I didn't like that doesn't mean that the actual thing is not good. It's just I don't like cauliflower. It was a risk for me to try it, but I tried it anyways. <sighs> I'll I don't throw know what in there. I do like cauliflower and I did like it, but yeah. it was very spicy for me. Yes. But I also have a very low tolerance for spice. And oh. it was like a buffalo type of a sauce. Yeah, I can and feel my lips burning. I, my a mouth bit. is burning. Right Better now. get a drink. So if you like spicy and you like cauliflower. Last time I did the video, which was opening day, we came to the Japan Pavilion and I actually got some frushi and the martini, which was served with an actual lavender flower inside of it and it is edible and I made my friend Josh eat it and he didn't like it so much because he ate it stem first but this time I think I'm gonna get it and I think I'm gonna eat it properly and give it a good judgment and there it is the martini I'm excited I've already drank it but I did not eat the flour so first for everything Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah. There it is, and maybe things changed since opening day, but they did actually take away the stems. Josh, poor Josh. <laughs> Anywho's, I'm going to eat yeah. the actual flour, but I'm going to let it soak up a little bit. Maybe I'll push it down. There we go. There you go. Get it in there. <laughs> so I am going to eat the lavender, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to drink it and then chew it down and swallow it very quickly. Okay. Okay. That's the plan. Yeah, just so. It. Josh spit it out, uh, my friend Shane just spit it out, and uh, Jackie won't even eat it. I won't. <laughs> so here we go. Hi! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yep. Yep. Done. Yep. <laughs> it's like a doctor's office. It tastes like a doctor's office. <laughs> I'm kind of getting Jackie to commit. Oh, don't do that. Oh! It, is. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. it smells good, but some things are not meant to be ingested. I can still taste it. Like oh, oh, yeah. After actually eating the flour, it's hard to finish the drink, but this is the strongest drink we've had so far. Honestly, like this actually. Be prepared, I gotta tell you, it's very strong. <laughs> if you don't like strong tasting drinks, I suggest you drink it very quick. So then that way, you don't taste it. Oh, Nate! Ooh. Okay, back to that drink. Don't drink it quick because it will shoot up your nose and it burns so bad it actually brought a tear. It really does, and now I kind of feel like a burning sensation right here. <sighs> One of my coolest little things I like to point out to people is how they actually change the town here in Germany to whatever festival that's happening. So right now it's Flower and Garden, and if you look down there, all the light posts have Flower and Garden signs on them. That is paying attention to detail. That is Disney right there. Look at all the little signs, isn't that awesome? I really do love it. So here we are in Germany, and I'm excited to try the potato pancakes. Now, you guys remember I had a bad experience in SeaWorld, and their potato pancake, but this one looks a little bit different. Thank you. And there it is. I'm telling you, uh, that looks delicious to me. I don't know what the outcome's gonna be like. <laughs> House-made applesauce, and look how thick that potato pancake is thick. <laughs> <laughs> Looks alone, like I said, this this has to be good. I'm so excited. I like it. It's a lot better than SeaWorld's potato pancake, yeah. like I said. Very delicious, very fluffy, and it's actually pretty big for only $4.50. Mm -hmm. Like, you get two of them with the house-made applesauce. I like it a lot. And here we are at the Lotus House, which is the Chinese uh, pavilion stand. And I think I'm gonna go with beer this time because I, I, need a, I need a break from the sweet stuff. So we're gonna get the Jasmine beer, the Jasmine beer. That's what it's called, right, Jackie? Yeah, yeah. So I'm interested to see what it is. Hopefully there's no flowers in this one. And here is the Jasmine beer. It definitely has a strange color to it, a little gray. I'm kind of confused. I don't know. 
but I'm sure I'll love it. So funny though, this beer actually does taste like a flower. It like it doesn't have much of a beer taste to uh -uh. it. Very light. Very light, but kind of planty. I feel like I'm drinking tea and beer mixed together. That's what I said in my video too. No way. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. It's That's like amazing. Got a tea, like a tea kind of a taste. Yes, it's like tea yeah. and beer. Yeah. Wow. I did finish up my jasmine beer, but honestly, like I said, the tea beer mixture really wasn't that great. I mean, it's not something I would get again, I'm sorry. But I did like it, it wasn't like bad. It's just uh, kind of feels like a weak beer, a very, very weak beer. So now I think it's time we actually take a little break and sit down somewhere. So we're gonna go into the tequila cave here at the Mexico Pavilion. I don't know if that's taking a break, but at least we're sitting down. Other than chips and salsa, or chips and queso, which I'll probably not partake in the queso. Oh, there is some salsa though. I will eat some chips. I also got a Mexican draft beer. <laughs> That's what it says in the menu. But what is it called? A teca? A tecate. Which looks pretty delicious. Yeah. Jackie got a Bloody Mary beer. I don't even, what is that called? Michelada. Michelada. So it's a tecate mixed with like a Bloody Mary type of a drink. Very interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. <laughs> While in the tequila cave, I think it's tradition that I have myself a little snack. Cheers. Cheers. The fact that you have to chew it for that long is already that's a no-go for me. Yep. With the bag. Well, I think that's gonna do it for us. We, we're inside the Tequila Cave for a little bit, just relaxing, talking, socializing, doing cool stuff at Epcot. I had an amazing time tonight, hanging out with great friends. Make sure you check out Jackie's channel, super enthused. Seriously, I love Flower and Garden. Sometimes I have to debate whether or not Food and Wine or Flower and Garden is my favorite festival. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite festival is. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. We're heading out. See you next time. Bye.